Bíblia. Well, a very good evening wherever you are joining us here for the Action Darts Charity Cup. This is night number two. It's game number two of our evening and it's just 8.15 now then on Thursday, the 28th of May 2020. And this is our Darts Charity Cup, which all comes to a climax on Thursday, the 18th of June. So we started last night with the first players going to the hockey from uh, Yorkshire. We then went to the Republic of Ireland this evening. Game number one saw Lancashire against Essex. And we now have Essex against Oxford for our second game of the night. As we welcome the next two youth players ready to tour the hockey this evening. It's good evening, Freddie Francis. Good evening, Lennon Craddock. Good evening, Paul. Welcome, Good evening, guys. Paul. Firstly, thank you for taking part. It's basically we are making the best of a bad thing with lockdown. We would all like to be towing the hockey in uh, some licensed premises somewhere with plenty of atmosphere, plenty of razzmatazz and plenty of cheering. But uh, unfortunately, due to the current COVID-19 circumstances, we are making the best out of it. The good thing about this, with technology, uh, with Skype, with our friends at Dart Connect as well, we are able to bring you the Action Dart Charity Cup. We are going to do a bit of fundraising along the way as well, raising money for COVID-19 related charitable causes. So anybody watching who would like to make a donation in any way, shape or form, doesn't matter how much, it will be very welcome. If you feel that the team behind the scenes done a good job at putting a smile on your face and we've done something to bring these youth players to your screens then if you would like to make a donation no matter how small then it will be greatly appreciated so guys where where are we playing this evening uh freddie where's where's your darts room your dartboard your man cave where is it i'm currently playing in my lobby in my kitchen I've got a little lobby way attached to my kitchen, so I've got my board out there tonight. Fantastic. So we're not going to have a thoroughfare with everyone heading to the kitchen to read. <laughs> uh, no, they've been, they've been kicked out. All right, so you're, you're the boss. <laughs> so, you're 18 years old, Freddie. Tell us what, what's the biggest achievement up to now for you in this fabulous sport we love called darts? Uh, so I've had a few, but probably my most memorable one was probably winning a PDPA scholarship in Bristol for the JDC tour to get my uh, free entry to the development tour. Fantastic. And well, where do you want to take this? Where, how Realistically, how far do you want to go in the world of darts? I want to go quite far. Yeah. Very far. Do you do anything away from darts as well, Freddie? I was uh, working before lockdown. I was working as a uh, plumber before this all got happened. And I unfortunately kind of lost my job due to it happening. Yeah, I think you're going to be in the same boat as many people who are going to suffer one way or another in this. Uh, well, fingers crossed, let's hope that you can make the most out of it when we do get out of this lockdown eventually. Uh, so, Canvey Island in Essex for you and your opponent this evening. Uh, how much do you know about Lennon? I know quite a lot about Lennon. Really? Yeah. Spill the beans, go on. Lennon's got a bit of a dodgy smile on his face. Well, head. we've got, I'd say, we've got a bit of a rivalry. Really? Yeah, it's always fun though, it's fun playing against them. We always have good games. Which is how it should be, how it should be. So well, is, is that how you'd refer to it as well, Lennon? Is it uh, a friendly rivalry? Yeah, a bit of a friendly rivalry. Um, I don't think he's ever beat me, but we've played about four, five, six times now and uh, you know we've always had good games, it's always been close, so it'd be a good crack. Happy days, good. So Lennon, you're in Oxfordshire. What's, uh, what's your yeah. ambition in darts, Lennon? Uh, love to be uh, obviously a professional, uh, top eight, but um, you know, it is what it is. Obviously, I see how we're getting on at the minute. I've just started, I've played for about two years now on development tour, so we're just seeing how it's going at the minute. Yeah, great circuit to be a part of, mate. I hope you do make it to the top eight as well. Who's your favourite player? Uh, favourite player, probably Adrian Lewis. Yeah, I've heard um, that. Well, he's, uh, have you met Adrian? I haven't met Adrian, no, but um, I just like his like his attitude on the hockey and a uh, very aggressive player. So yeah, 
He's uh, he's a great player, great and two times world champion as well. He's he's a real good lad to look up to. And uh, as far as you're concerned, Freddie, who's your favourite player? I'll say Phil Taylor. Okay, yeah. So a uh, bit of uh, rivalry there in the past as well between Phil and Eddie. Once upon a time, practice partners as well. So, so you ready for it, guys? Are we uh, are we ready to rock and roll? Because this is the second of our games this evening, and. We've done the bull already. Freddie won the bullseye. So, guys, if you want to go away and get your nine darts as warm up, then we'll get ourselves. So, in the hockey, the team at Dart Connect worldwide members of the year community have raised over fifteen and a half thousand pounds for COVID nineteen response charities. If you'd like to donate anything at all this evening, you can follow the link on screen. If you think the guys are doing Something good at putting a smile on your face during this lockdown period, and you would like to just show some appreciation. Anything would be welcomed. So, this is number two, game number two of our evening. First game tonight was Robin Baker against Nathan Kerr, Nathan from Lancashire. Robin was in his apartment in Germany. It was an 8 2 victory for Nathan Kerr. Last night's games saw Killian Paffinen beat Sean Cummins 8-7 and Charlie Manby from Yorkshire beats Brad Phillips 8-0. So we'll see how we go now. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready, man. Yeah, I'm ready. Fabulous. So Freddie won at the bullseye. We've got to start off by saying thanks very much indeed, lads, for agreeing to take part in the Action Darts Charity Cup. We wish you both all the best at the hockey. May the best man win. This is the first of a scheduled possible 15 legs. First to eight is the winner. Leg number one, Freddie throws first. It is game on. One forty. Okay, so that's... 43 43 Wow One forty. Hundred. Freddy requires ninety. Forty two. Sixty. He retired at 48. 9 in three. That is game shot on the first leg. Freddie Francis. Second leg, it's Lennon to throw first. Game on. 60. Thank you. 
43. Freddy requires one hundred and twenty three. Seventy four. Lennon requires one hundred and sixty seven. Wow, twenty five. Freddy requires fifty. Lennon requires one hundred and forty two. Forty eight. Fred requires twenty. Lennon requires ninety four. Forty two. What how? Freddie requires twenty. No score. Lennon requires fifty two. Wow. Freddy requires twenty. Game in two. There we are. That yeah. is game on the second leg. Freddy Francis. Third leg now. It's Freddy to throw first. Game on. Forty three. Thirty. Forty five. One hundred and thirty six. Eighty-three. Forty-five. What's going on? Uh, Twenty-three. Rubbish. Forty-two. Lennon requires 154. 
Lennon requires 59. Yeah, game in two. That is game shot. And the third leg, Lennon Craddock. <clears throat> Fourth leg now, it's Lennon to throw first. Game on. One Forty-five. Uh, ninety. Sixty. Lennon requires one hundred and thirty. Sorry, ninety. Forty-five. Lennon requires forty. Twenty. Fifty-nine. Lennon requires twenty. And then one hundred. Lennon requires ten. Yeah, game in one. That is game shot on the fourth leg. Braddock. Fifth leg now. It's Freddie to throw first. Game on. Forty three. One hundred. Ninety nine. Fifty nine. Ninety nine. Eighty five. Ninety six. Forty-four. Lennon. Forty-four. Forty-four. Lennon requires one hundred and sixty. Fifty-one. Hundred and twenty seven. Lennon requires one hundred and nine. Ah, seven, uh, seventy nine. Freddie requires thirty two. Game in two. That is game shot on the fifth leg, Freddie Francis. Sixth leg now, it's Lennon to throw first. Game on. Seventy-two. 
77. Fifty-eight. One hundred. Fifty-seven. One, two, five. 45 99 42 Love requires 100 80 One hundred and sixty four. Fifty eight. Lena requires ninety eight. Ah, Fifty eight. Requires one hundred and six. Oh, 74. Lennon requires 40. 
119. Lennon requires 68. Lennon, wow. Uh, Six. Freddy requires twenty two. Game in two. That is game shot on the eighth leg. Freddie Francis. Nicely poised after eight legs at four each. Leg number nine now. It's Freddie to throw first. Game on. One hundred. Ninety six. Oh, Thirty. Man, then forty five. Lennon requires 136. Ah, 96. 87. Lennon requires 40. 10th leg now, it's Lennon to throw first. Game on. Fifty-eight. One eighty. Fifty-six. Lennon requires one hundred and thirty-eight. 78. 57. Lennon requires 60. 60. Yeah, game in three. That is game shot on the 10th leg to Lennon Craddock. 11th leg now. It's Freddy to throw first. It is game on. Oh, 68. And then 83. 43. And then 137. Fifty-six. 
Eighty-five. Lennon. Forty-six. Forty. Forty-four. One hundred and thirty-nine. Lennon requires one hundred and fifty-two. Fifty-six. Freddie requires seventy. Fifty-four. Lennon requires ninety-six. Wow, that's so far wrong. <laughs> 42. Freddy requires 16. I... Lennon requires 54. 14. Freddy requires eight. Game in one. That is game shot on the 11th leg. Freddy Francis. 12th leg now. It's Lennon to throw first. Game on. Forty-four. Fifty-eight. Thirty-seven. Fifty-four. One forty. One forty. Fifty six. Really, twenty eight. Uh, Fifty six. <coughs> Forty-three. One hundred. Sorry. requires sixty-eight. Game in three. That is game shot on the 12th leg. Lennon Craddock. 13th leg now. It's going to be Freddy to throw first. Game on. 40. 59. Seventy-seven. One eighty. Uh, Eighty-three. One hundred and twenty-eight. Ninety-six. Lennon requires one hundred and thirty-four. Uh, forty. Freddy requires one hundred and sixty-one. 
44. Lennon requires 94. Ah, 84. Freddy requires 117. Ah, oh, 97. Lennon requires 10. Game in one, mate. That is game. Um, Lennon Craddock. Oof. Wow. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Unlucky Trevor. That's one way of summing it up, guys. Okay, yeah, um, pretty much. What he said. <laughs> uh, nowhere near our best, mate. Yeah. Uh, well done, guys. Well done. And <laughs> thanks for taking part as well. 8 5 in favour of Lennon. We're making the most out of a bad time at the moment, guys. We're locked down. How do you enjoy your action, Dart's participation? Freddie, thanks for taking part. Yeah, it was good, thanks. Yeah, yeah it was good, thank you. Cheers for uh, inviting me to participate. Oh, you're very welcome, and thanks for taking up the offer, mate. You're uh, you're only 18. You've got a real bright future ahead of you. It started really well as as well this evening. Your first two legs, you were two nil ahead and feeling good. Yeah, just didn't go the way I wanted it. Missed a few doubles, a few on the other side of the wire. So I think we can't be up. But... Thanks for taking part, mate, as well. And oh. Lennon. Couple of nice one eighties in there. You went two nil down. Was you slow out of the blocks this evening? Uh, I, I don't know what was wrong with me. To be perfectly honest, I played um, rubbish for the first couple of legs, and then I started getting into it. I started from a rhythm. Um, drank a lot of water throughout that as well. I had about three, four bottles full. Um, no, the first two legs, I don't know what was wrong with me. I, I, it was just awful, and um, and then uh, well, I think it kind of turned when I had that one seven seven one eighty. Um, started kicking into it a bit and then I started to find my rhythm but I mean other than that that was below par but I'm obviously happy just to get through to the next round. Yeah and you said at the start as well a bit of friendly rivalry and you said that Freddie hadn't managed to beat you yet you maintained your record against him. Well I'm obviously happy to do that there's not many people I've, I've got 100% records of um, which aren't losses so I'll take that qu quite happily. Brilliant. Well, listen, guys, both of you, thanks very much indeed for taking part this evening. Thanks for taking part in the uh, in the Charity Cup. But like we say earlier, we are making the most out of a bad time at the moment. Fingers crossed it's not going to be too long before we're sharing the hockey again with good times and uh, a bit of banter and razzmatazz behind us. But for now, it's been a pleasure to welcome you as part of the Action Darts Charity Cup. Commiserations, Freddie. Thank you. And Lennon, we look forward to seeing you in the next round and maybe going all the way to the final, which we'll have on Thursday, the 18th of June. So congratulations, Lennon. Thank you very much. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, the rest of the team as well. Doing a great job today, guys. Thank okay. you. Thanks very much indeed, guys. Best wishes and best wishes in your darts careers as well. You're both only 18 years old and bright futures ahead as well. So we wish you all the best, mate. Thank you. Best wishes, Cheers. guys. Both of you. Thank you. Thank well, you. on behalf of the team at dartconnect.com and Action Darts this evening, thanks for joining us. We've been welcoming players from all around the UK and as far away as Germany as well this evening as well. Hope you've enjoyed the darts. This is going to be on every Wednesday and Thursday evening. Starts at 7pm both on Wednesday and Thursday. There's going to be two games each night. First one scheduled for 7pm, second one at 8.15 as well. Whatever you're doing during this lockdown, make the most out of it. Stay positive. Have a great weekend ahead, everybody. And on behalf of the team at Action Darts, we bid you a very fond farewell. Till next time, thank you. Goodbye.